With the explosion of the term internet money, I found myself trying out a ton of different online side hustles such as Amazon FBA, sneaker reselling, and finally drop shipping where in my first two months I made. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't not only miss out on any of the videos that I drop, but so you join the community of high valued men that not only work on building themselves up, but the people around them. So make sure to subscribe and show some support to the channel. All right, with all that aside, let's just jump right into the video. So for this video, I'm gonna break down my 60 days of drop shipping into weeks, kind of go over what went wrong, what went right, and what my plans are moving forward. So let's get into it. So week one, the first thing I did was I created my page. You guys can kind of see how this looks. Uh, it looks pretty good and I think it was a great page for you know just starting out with dropshipping and it kind of just got me a little bit more experience with building stores so I think this is a really good first page for me and it ended up doing pretty well as you will see soon so the next thing that happened in week one I found a product so I basically went on TikTok, I scrolled through the videos and I found a product that I ended up going with and the product I found was this lamp right here it's like a rose crystal touch lamp and if you tap it it lights up up, but I think it's just dead that's why it's actually not turning on and my plan was with this product I would make organic TikTok videos in order to grow an account and then direct that account traffic from my TikTok account to my shop where they could then buy it and I would earn a significant amount of money with great profit margins so yes the next thing I did was I set up a TikTok account and an Instagram and then I started posting and if you guys actually want to see here are some of the videos that I did and then after setting that stuff up I then ordered my product after I had found it through just doing organic TikTok product research so now I had to wait the entire time for me to actually get the product so after I ordered the product I then waited a pretty long time until I heard something ring on the doorbell I went and got the product and now then I had the product week two would involve me posting content and starting to grow this little TikTok account so the entirety of week two was spent on posting TikTok or organic content and I'll actually show you guys some of the videos. So I did post a decent bit of videos kind of just like this but the bad thing was week two really didn't involve any sales but honestly that's expected when you're starting out with organic TikTok. I think the only sale I got was like for my mom she bought one for my sister and then I got really excited when I saw the notification on my phone but then when I heard it was from her I didn't really get excited anymore because it, it really wasn't from organic TikTok. So for week three I continued to film for the product but nothing really extraordinary happened so I decided to ditch it and the thing that I learned was basically I didn't put in enough time into actually posting. I only posted around three times a day and it really wasn't that consistent when in reality, if you're doing organic TikTok, you should aim to be posting five times a day and do that for around three weeks and then you'll find success. So at the end of week three, I found another product and ended up going with this portable keychain charger before it actually became a winning product, but it wasn't a winning product for me. So I found this product around Saturday or Sunday and basically I decided to go for pay ads with it because I thought it had lots of potential but the thing was it did it just didn't have great profit margins however for the start of week four on a Monday I set up a CBO campaign and then later would run an ABO campaign to test the product if you don't know what CBO means that means it's campaign budget optimization I set it at a daily spend limit of $50 and it had good metrics but no sales so then the next day on a Tuesday I then ran an ABO which basically means ad budget optimization I had five ad groups running at a $20 per day budget spend and I actually was profitable that day and sold a decent bit. I ended up making $56 as you guys can see right here and I think I only spent around $30 on ads but I actually think I remember something. I had an order that was placed for around 60 bucks so realistically it should be 116 but the thing was there was a problem with his payment and in the heat of the moment I refunded it and just ultimately probably lost that sale so I was profitable in a sense if that actually counted towards those earnings but with those earnings that I had gotten from refunding I was actually at a loss so the rest of the week I got sales and I ended up getting a hundred and seventy six dollars all from this little keychain but the thing was it wasn't profitable and the reason for that was because I was selling it at a low price 
I was selling this product at $20 and if you really want to be profitable with dropshipping, you need to do $30 plus. So this product ended up being a failure because I had chosen a product that I can only sell for a cheap price. So if you're going to do paid ads for a product, you have to do at least a product that can sell for a 3x markup at least $30 and above is what I would aim for. So then week five, instead of doing organic product research on TikTok, I then decided to do a free trial of dropship.io and I eventually came across a product that was running some sales and this is a smart timer phone lockbox, whatever you wanna call it. Essentially how this product works is you put your phone in and it allows you to set a timer and you can't access a phone until the timer runs out. And so what I chose to do with this product was was organic and something crazy happened after posting for just three days I ended up getting a viral video and it ultimately got me to 4.1 million views on one video 1.2 million on the other and just a bunch of other videos that got a lot of other views so this did amazing I had so much organic success but something ended up not happening too well, and that was sales. I didn't get a single sale in that week, but I decided to keep on going, and I kept on posting five times a day, and I started to see even better results just on the account, but with no Shopify sales. So moving on to week six, something I haven't mentioned is I have been in Discord groups. I was in Discord groups. I was paying for memberships. I was also on YouTube just gathering a ton of information. So if you want to be successful with dropshipping, if you want to have a good chance to you know go viral, and if you want to know what actually works, then I highly suggest you join Discord groups. Don't even have to spend a single buck. You can go on YouTube and gather as much information as you can because that's gonna end up helping you out the most. But anyways, week six, I actually paid someone on Fiverr to increase my site speed because it was really low. I got it up to, I think, around a 99 on Google. I think that's what I used or something. But it ended up working out pretty well. However, the entirety of week six, even when I had two viral videos, I still was not getting any sales. And that even led up to week seven where I continued to post and didn't get a single sale. So week eight rolls around, I'm still posting, but I actually decided to do paid for two products. And these products I actually never got in my hands. I just got some content and put it together onto a CBO campaign. I tested one product and then I tested the other. The first product actually ended up failing. I think it was a like a privacy phone screen case and that didn't end up working out that well. But I then the next day did a MagSafe phone case, you know, one of those magnetic ones you can attach to those magnetic chargers. And what ended up happening was shocking. With only $40 spent on ads in that day, this product made me $143.95. And I ended up profiting around $80 because the cost of the products weren't that expensive and I was able to sell a decent amount of these. So it ended up working very well. However, the thing was, I did not have enough funds to scale like at a significant rate. So I decided it would be best to dro just drop the product immediately. And then I came across something that I thought would be best. I thought it would be best if I just waited until I had at least 2000 to put towards dropshipping. Now I obviously have more than $2,000 to spend on stuff, but what I ended up thinking was I want to have a little bit more comfortability into what I can do with dropshipping because if I find a winning product, I'll have all of that money to allocate towards dropshipping in order to make it work. So ultimately, I think I just have to approach dropshipping the next time with having more funds to scale it and just become more successful. But overall, this whole experience taught me that dropshipping is something that's possible. Don't listen to other people on the internet telling you that dropshipping is dead, dropshipping doesn't work, because I've seen success with dropshipping, I just haven't pursued it fully, and it's something that I'm gonna hold off on for a little while, but I think it's 100% possible. If it's something that you are wanting to do, I highly suggest starting. You can do organic, just only for purchasing the product, 
getting your site looking nice and then filming consistent content, you could end up becoming really profitable with it. And I think dropshipping is something that will not die, but will only grow bigger. I'm just very glad that I was able to learn as much as I did with dropshipping. So the next time I go at it, I can become more successful. And I'm honestly considering doing an organic product the next time, you know, sometime in the near future so I can get more experience and perhaps get a viral product that does very well but that's the end of the video if you guys did like this style of video then make sure to leave a like and comment what you'd like to see next or just any questions you might have for me i'd love to answer any of them and as always i'm constantly working on building a community of high valued men that not only work on building themselves up but the people around them and if that's something you want to be a part of then consider subscribing and join the community all right guys without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video as always peace